This is the Fridon Electromechanical Calculator. Model number SW10, serial number 905390, made in Holland, date of manufacture approximately 1952. It has 20 digits for the accumulator register, 11 for the counter register, a 9 by 10 digit keyboard, a multiplier keyboard and register, keyboard lock, button, divide stop, an add button for one shot and multiple adds, a minus bar, plus bar, two divide keys, a clear multiply key, keyboard clear, and carriage left right control keys. Down at the bottom of the keyboard we have decimal markers which can be rotated to produce a yellow bar and a clear button. And these rotary control knobs enable one to set up numbers manually or adjust for round off errors. These buttons on the carriage control the decimal place for doing division. These two clear buttons can clear both the accumulator and counter register or just the counter register on their own and you can lock them in the up position to prevent the machine from resetting the registers. Just show you a few simple operations. If the add key is up Every time you press the add bar with a number on the keyboard, say 56, you will get the total on the accumulator. Keeping the add bar down brings up multiple adds. With the add key in that position, you only get a one shot operation and the keyboard is cleared. Clear the registers. Now then, you saw the machine automatically pull these down. If you put those up, it will not clear. Let's put a number on here. Clear the accumulators with these up. Nothing's cleared. So to get the machine to clear the counters, you need these down. These keys at the bottom reset each individual column of the keyboard. So if we have 234, you can clear that, or you can lock each one in place by pulling up. So that will not change anymore. Another feature, with the add button down, let's enter a number 567, the one shot approach gives a clear on the keyboard, but when the divide stop key is also down, 567, the one shot approach keeps the keys in the register. So you can add up multiple hundred and with the add key up multiple adds or touch on the bar will give you one reset these that resets that that resets both and clear the keyboard you have decimal place markers which can be slid along for the counter register and also for the accumulator. Here's the carriage 
control keys. You notice that the mechanism may be running slightly slower than other models. This is because I've slowed down the centrifugal governor on the electric motor just to produce less stress on the mechanism. Okay, let's try a couple of multiplications. First, a small one. 12 by 12. 12. 12. And hit the multiply. 144. 12 squared. Clear the keyboard. Clear the registers. Now, let's try a large multiply. Let's go 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8. Multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Hit the multiply. And clear. A close up view of the multiply register. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And the close-up view of the registers as the calculation progresses. Holy smoke! Okay, let's try a divide. Most people think that pi is given by 22 over 7, but there is a much more accurate approximation if you take the first three digits one three five twice one one three three five five and you divide the last three by the first three so let's put three five five on the keyboard and we'll enter it onto the register let's put the decimal marker there. Then we'll divide that by 113. And we'll hit both divide buttons together. And there's pi approximated to a good six decimal places accuracy. Let's show you a close-up as the calculation proceeds. And we'll clear the keyboard and the registers. And there's the Freedom Electromechanical Calculator. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.